back to Simple Man, Simple Life. Uh, we are out in the woods. We are going to load up some wood. We're going to load up this hopper. Um, for those of you that know what that is, um, it's basically a little dumpster. Um, and I got some great ideas for this. So ride along with me today, and uh, it's going to be awesome. Check this out. <laughs> hoppers that we use are basically mini dumpsters um, we've used them in the woods to just move material they're easy you can toss wood into them real loose you don't have to uh, try to set them down like you would in like a bucket um, and they're just handy to have move them around with the forks we have like four of these total we've never had them all in the same place at the same time but I've had this idea for a while because there was a time we used them as a measuring tool for face cords they hold right around half a face cord so you could take two of them, dump them on a dump truck, and you could count that as a face cord. It's just a lot less handling. And my new conveyor system can dump right into them babies. So I have this thought that if I have two of these, and I load them on my truck backwards, and then I back up to where I gotta go and let them dump, I don't have to handle the wood. So uh, just a thought I had. I'm gonna try it on a delivery this afternoon, and we'll let you know how it goes. pretty quick I need to have a backboards on the back of these things so I just put the IBCs behind it for now but I will be welding some backboards to it so it can hit it and fall right in the hopper that'll make for less having to move it around and get it set up just right um, so I like it I'm gonna load them on the truck and go deliver them <laughs> Okay, so the plan here, binder chain's gonna hold the back down so it don't tump over when it dumps off the back. Got one in the middle just to kind of hold it steady. We're gonna have one on the bottom holding it down so I don't slide around on the truck while I'm moving it. So I want it to stay right where it's at. I can't have it moving or they won't dump properly. I'm gonna run that strap right across the bottom here. But when I get there, I've gotta remember that uh, I got that strap on the bottom and take it off first or I'll cut it in half when I dump it. So, tighten these down real quick and we will get rolling. actually went 
pretty good. Uh, there's definitely some things I'm going to have to change, though. I did notice uh, one of the hoppers, when it dumped, it slid forward like it wanted to run away. So I'm going to have to put some in my stake pockets. I can kind of anchor them things down with where I don't have to even strap them. Um, and then also, I get a little nervous because I acquired those hoppers years ago. I used to work at, uh, I'm not going to drop any names, but I used to work at a factory. Um, and those hoppers were used to haul scrap material to get them away from the machines, to take it back where they re, re melted them and uh, long story short, I was used to move material, and I was a forklift driver, and some of those hoppers, they would get to where you'd hit a bump, and the latch would spring, and they'd just dump out right there on the floor, and these hoppers I bought from that uh, place I worked at, and I'm pretty sure they were already kind of wore out. They've worked fine around the wood yard where I'm just moving them with the tractor or the skid steer and dumping them. That way I had too much trouble with them bumping and dumping um, unintentionally. However, um, I, it became a real scary to me all of a sudden when I was thinking about the thing busting open like that while I was going down the road 60 mile an hour and there was a car behind me. Because if they dump, they're dumping right in the road. So that was a little concerning for me. So I am gonna rig up some way of locking that latch. I did put zip ties on the locks themselves this time, but I'm not real confident in that. I'm gonna make some way of locking them where they just they won't accidentally dump while I'm going down the road. However, I do see that system working very, very well. Um, I could load that very easily with the tractor onto, uh, I get it straight from the conveyor um, off the splitter and dump it right into the trailer if somebody wanted multiple uh, loads. So that's kind of cool. Uh, sorry, I had to, I don't know where the heck I'm going. I'm at a place I've never been before, out in the middle of nowhere. I drove 30 minutes and never saw a town going to this place. I'm not going to give my customers uh, location away, but give you an idea how far out in the middle of nowhere I am. But anyway, uh, I definitely like the dumping system. I I feel like you know what I can take. I can easily load them from the conveyor. Somebody wanted three, four, five face cords, whatever. I could dump them directly onto the dump trailer and dump them. I'm significantly cutting down on my handling this way. And being that I'm not dumping them into the IBC containers, I'm not having to unload that wood by hand and get down to the bottom of that rack. If you have, if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, um, you've got, you might notice a theme lately, and the theme is. I'm trying to avoid as much bending and lifting as I possibly can, and I have definitely lost. No, nope, I remember where I'm at now. But, so, by me running them up the conveyor, the only time I've, ha I've handled the wood twice now, um, I used the tractor to load the logs onto my log deck, so never handled it with my hands. Well, hold up. Deer standing out here by the road. Little ones. A couple yearlings. Anyway, squirrel. Uh, <laughs> so, where was I? Oh, so I handled the uh, the wood one time. I, I used a tractor to load it onto my log deck. I cut the wood, then I picked the wood up with my hands and I loaded it into the carrier basket. From there, I used the tractor to move that to my log splitter. And once the basket, once the carrier got halfway down where I was having to bend to lift it in onto the splitter, I just picked it up with my tractor back up to waist level so I don't have to bend. And now I'm handling the wood a second time, loading it onto the splitter 
and from the splitter into the conveyor. The conveyor put it in the hopper and I never had to touch the wood when I dumped it at the customer's house. Put the hopper on the truck with the tractor, didn't have to handle it there to load it. And then I dumped the hoppers. It takes two hoppers to make a face board. And so. Now can you believe it's like days before Christmas? Like just a couple of days, like four? Okay, maybe maybe more than a couple. It's like four days till Christmas. It's gotta be like 50 plus degrees outside. I'm walking, I'm out here in a thin t-shirt in my beds. But anyway, I really, really, really like this system. I'm probably not going to completely eliminate the IBC containers because, I mean, they are great storage for wood and whatnot. And there's still going to be times where I can't dump every time because I'm going to have multiple stops, you know, and I can't divide it out, you know, so they're, they're, they're going to have their place. But anytime I can avoid using that, avoid handling the wood, using the hoppers, using the conveyor to load the hoppers, using the tractor to load the hoppers onto the truck, using the hopper to dump the load off the truck. Uh, yeah, all good stuff. So, anyway, hope you all enjoy this video. I hope you learned something. Uh, I know I did, because this is the first time. I've had this idea for doing this forever. Um, I just haven't tried it before, so. Um, if I just have jumped, beat up hoppers from somewhere, give them like 50 bucks for them or whatever they'll take for them, go to a scrap metal, well, don't go to a scrap metal place, they'll know what they are and they won't sell them figure that cheap. Them things are like over a thousand dollars, which even if you gotta buy them, they're worth it. I would probably buy, if I was to have to buy one new, I'd probably buy one that held a face board than a two. It would just be easier, less working with stuff, but uh, either way, this is going to work. Now I can actually convey the firewood out into a pile if I'm not loading. And I can use the grapple of tractor to load the hoppers. It's all less handling. All speeding up my process. All so when you call me, I say yes, I have wood available and I can deliver it to you soon. Music to my ears. Hey, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching and uh, God bless you. Please, if you have not yet, subscribe to this channel because I've noticed that a lot of y'all that are viewing my channel don't be subscribing to my channel, so change that. Fix that. All right. Have a great day, guys. God bless.